Welcome back to Margin. So rising interest rates, you're hearing about it in the media. What do you need to do now? So we're gonna jump into the background on that and then figure out, okay, what are the next steps for you as a consumer? So the Fed met mid-December and as an outcome of that meeting, it was determined that they will be doing multiple interest rate hikes this year to slow inflation rates, uh, which recently, as I reported, uh, hit 6.8% year over year. So the outcome of these minutes will lead to interest rate hikes beginning in March, which along with fears of global unrest led markets into the red. Now, we can all initially applaud the efforts to curb inflation, especially with all that I shared regarding the shocking numbers around inflation a couple weeks ago. So although slowing the rate of inflation is great, this interest rate hike will make aspects like buying a vehicle or, uh, or, or home on credit much more expensive, meaning that the buying power will dwindle further for the American consumer. Now, there are a lot of different opinions on how this may play out, but Bloomberg referred to a statement by Federal Reserve Governor Christopher Waller stating that three interest rate increases this year was a good baseline, but there may be fewer or even as many as five moves depending on inflation. In an article by MSN named Interest Rate Hikes Are Coming, here are three game plans for 2022 and beyond. It stated that projections show that the Fed could implement three rate hikes next year, a similar number in 2023 and then two in 2024. So this expanding the impact beyond 2022 into the next two to three years accordingly. So an MSN article stated that Jan Hatzius, if I'm pronouncing that properly, chief economist of Goldman uh, Sachs uh, wrote in a note Sunday that the investment bank is predicting a fourth 25 basis point rate hike in December of this year, up from an earlier projection of three. Now, this move would put the target federal funds into a range between one and one and a quarter percent by the end of 2022. Now, currently the benchmark interest rate sits at between zero and a quarter percent. So the article went on to reference that the Fed meeting minutes show that members of the Federal Open Market Committee or FOMC judged that current economic conditions included a stronger economic outlook, higher inflation, and a larger balance sheet, and thus could warrant a potentially faster pace of policy rate uh, normalization. And finally, according to MSN, JP Morgan CEO Jamie Dimon uh, expects the central bank to raise rates six to seven times in 2022. So as you can see, most responses are in the range of three to five rate hikes being anticipated for this year. Now that doesn't even factor in the next two to three years. Now I believe that this is a very delicate balance of not wanting to increase rates too much to where it negatively affects the ground that we have made as an economy while balancing the need to slow inflation that everyone is feeling the impact of, as well as prop up rates enough so that in the next downturn, there is a place for rates to fall, which uh, if you look historically, that's a typical area where uh, you can you can reduce rates and prop up the economy um, at that time when that is a lever that they need to utilize. So with this expected rise in interest rates that will directly affect US households, you need to take a look at what you owe, uh, to whom, and what the terms of that debt are. Not as a means of more or less a discouragement to you, but really a reality check to see where your debt is, where it lies, and who owns it. Now, if you need to make changes in how your debt is structured, this may be the perfect time to do so before these rate hikes um, you know, are, are set in play. Now, according to the Associated Press, your top two priorities should be either restructuring 
and consolidating debt like credit cards as well as refinancing your home loan. Now, I would add to this that uh, with the historically low interest rates on auto uh, loans, you may consider also refinancing your vehicle as well. So sometimes it's difficult to know how much a 25 basis point increase will affect your loan. Now I'm using 25 basis points because that is what was referred to in these articles above. So let's use an example. Now, according to the Federal Reserve Bank of St. Louis, the median home price in the US uh, was $408,100 in quarter four of 2021. Now the average is even higher than that at 477,900. So let's assume that you buy a home at 435,000 with a 20% down payment at a fixed uh, 30 year uh, mortgage rate of 3.75%. Now this would provide a principal and interest payment without taxes and without insurance of $1,611. Now, if that same home loan uh, increased now to 4%, it would increase the payment to $1,661 or a $50 uh, a month increase. Now, the rate increase that the Fed determines does not necessarily translate to a one for one uh, exchange in regards to the 25 basis points, but I'm using that for easy math. So if we experience say four of these hikes at 25 basis points, that would put the mortgage at $1,815, which translates to a little over $200 per month. And that's just for this year. That's just based on four hikes at 25 basis points for 2022. Now a home is many people's largest purchase. So this is most likely the one that you will be most heavily impacted by. However, a rate hike will affect your line of credit, maybe your HELOC, your home equity loan, your auto loan or auto loans, credit cards, uh, as well as impacting or could impact the repayment of your student loans. So according to a Forbes article, they stated, quote, all government held federal student loans have been in a payment pause and interest suspension since March 2020. For nearly two years, no payments have been due on these loans and interest rates have been frozen at 0%. That relief was originally scheduled to end on January 31st, but last month, President Biden extended that relief uh, further to May 1st. So any interest rate increase by the Fed will have no impact on the interest suspension associated with the ongoing payment pause. So the article goes on to say that some private student loans with variable interest rates could be tied directly or indirectly to rates set by the Fed. As a result, borrowers with variable rate private student loans could see their interest rates gradually increase as the Fed institutes rate hikes. So based upon all of this, take a few minutes to write down all of your debts and which you need to consider refinancing or expediting repayment on based on this anticipated interest rate hike, uh, at least the initial one, and maybe even factoring in the ones to follow as more news comes available. Now this will ensure that you are able to be as prepared as possible for the impact that these decisions may have on the US economy and in turn your household. If this information is helpful to you, explore the margin membership where me and my team will help you take the information you're learning and apply it to your life and your finances. I've built an interactive course that allows me and my team to come alongside people like you to help you revamp your finances and build margin into your life. Click the link in the description below for more information.